Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again today. And in this video, we are going to look at testing SweetScript 2.0 in your browser's developer console. And before we get started, every video I create is part of my effective SweetScript email list, where every week I take on a different SweetScript uh, concept or topic and answer any questions or provide additional examples for the remainder of the week. Uh, you can find out more and get signed up at EffectiveSweetScript.com. You'll find a link in the video description. All right, well, let's get started. We can use our browser's developer tools uh, in order to quickly test and experiment with SweetScript without creating an entirely new script. Um, in SweetScript 1.0, all of our functions and objects were available globally. So you could essentially just pop open the console and start using SweetScript. Uh, now the module structure of SweetScript 2.0 adds just a step or two to this process. So most major browsers will provide you with a developer console. Uh, I'm using Firefox and I can just hit F12 to open the developers console. In order to work with a 2.0 module in the console, we need to import it into the console context first, and we do that using the require function. Notice this looks a little like a normal module definition, except we use require instead of define, and we don't need to define a callback function. Now this statement simply makes the specified modules, uh, the message module and the current record module, it makes them available to load in the console. Now we have just made the n slash UI slash message module and the n slash current record module available to load, but we haven't actually loaded them yet. We can now use the require function again to actually load the module uh, into a variable reference. Once they're loaded, we can then use these modules just like we, just like we would from within a script. Uh, for instance, I can use the current record module to retrieve field values uh, from this current record. So there you can see I used uh, get value to retrieve the first name and it prints it right in the console for me. Or I could use the message module that we loaded to display a message to the user. And there is our banner message. Now, you will want to be aware of a couple limitations of SweetScript in the console. First is that not all modules are available client-side. If you try to load a module that is not available on the client-side, you will probably receive a load timeout error. So for instance, the SFTP module is not available client-side. And so I get this module does not exist error and a load timeout. That is what you'll see when you try to load a module that is not available client side. Now second, you can only test in the console from a page that already supports SweetScript. Uh, I typically go to the entry form for a new record or edit an existing record. Uh, like in this case, I'm editing a contact record. If you are on a page that doesn't support SweetScript, like for instance, the home page, when you try to require a module, it will tell you that require is not defined, as you see right here. And that's it for this lesson. You've now seen how to test SweetScript 2.0 in your browser's developer console. Hopefully that makes your testing and experimentation a little faster, a little easier. Uh, if you liked what you saw in this video, hit that thumbs up button. Go share what you learned with somebody else. 
click subscribe to stay tuned to the weekly video series here. And thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I'll see you next time.